Winning UFC gold makes you a champion, but earning your place in history makes you legendary. These are the UFC records that will never be broken. The Famous Five Fighters make touching UFC gold their life's mission. Some even replicate the feat, recapturing a belt they had once lost. Few find the motivation to do it three or four times. John Jones, Rose Namajunas, TJ Dillashaw, and Conor McGregor have all touched gold twice, but there have been zero three-time champions. Even if someone found their way to a third reign, that would still leave them eating the dust of the great Randy Couture. With two title captures at 205 pounds and a whopping three at heavyweight, the natural brought home a promotional record of five UFC championship belts before calling it a day. No time to waste. An early knockout in the UFC title fight is hard, but to tap someone with a submission within seconds? Ronda Rousey at the time was on top of the world, proving to be a step beyond her contenders. And then there was the Kat Zingano fight, Rousey's primary weapon of choice, her trademark submission, the armbar. So when Zingano opted to immediately jump straight into the clinch with Ronda, her fate was decided. Though what we didn't anticipate was Rousey could transition to the armbar and force the tap with just 14 seconds on the clock. You could have sneezed and missed the fight. To this day, there has been no quicker submission in UFC title fight history. A Relentless Assault Habib Nurmagomedov beat some of the greatest fighters of his era in dominant fashion, but his most insane performance came a lot earlier in his career. At the time, Habib was still on the prelims, years away from his status as a crossover superstar. In front of him was a quick and athletic test, Abel Trujillo. His opponent had speed and power, but Nurmagomedov was about to give him an almighty lesson in wrestling. Through takedown after takedown, he slowly broke his opponent's will. In the third round, Trujillo's face told the whole story. As he looked to his coaches and even the referee for help, totally defensive against Nurmagomedov. Habib's ridiculous 21 takedowns across 15 minutes remains the record for the most successful attempts across three or even five rounds. Never meant to be. While on the subject of Habib, we have to bring up his rivalry with Tony Ferguson. Habib and El Kukui were the two top dogs. Both men were running through their competition, proving themselves time and time again to be on another level entirely. The fans wanted this fight more than anything, with each side confident that their favorite of the two would prove themselves greater. But every time the UFC tried to put it together, injuries, freak accidents, illness, and a global pandemic managed to steal the bout away. With five failed attempts at making Habib versus Ferguson a reality, it holds the record that the UFC may never even try to break again. Volume Personified Max Holloway's numbers are so insane, they make Justin Gaethje look like a statue. At 30 years old, he's only hitting his prime now, and over the last decade, he's managed to outland some extremely experienced veterans. Holloway has smashed records through his victories over Brian Ortega and Calvin Cater, but it's his total strike numbers that really sum up his prowess. Over the course of his 25 outings in the UFC octagon, his grand total of 2,848 career significant strikes is over a thousand more than the runner-up Donald Cerrone, and he ain't slowing down. Hard to kill Max Holloway loves dishing out punishment, but his ability to absorb it allows him to do his best work. Not only has he absorbed by far and away the most punishment in UFC history, but he also holds the distinction of having the most statistically durable chin we've ever seen. Call it incredible or slightly worrying, but through his 25 UFC outings, Holloway has absorbed a total of 1,811 strikes to his head, never once hitting the canvas for a knockdown, a record that is unique to him. Late Drama Insane doesn't even begin to describe this next one. Picture the scene. Yair Rodriguez is down on the scorecards. The legendary Chan Sung Jun and his granite chin are in front of him, 10 seconds on the clock. When that timer hits zero, Yair knows he will be walking out of there with another UFC defeat. The clock moves to 7 seconds, 6. But as that timer entered the final 5 seconds, Rodriguez threw out an almighty Hail Mary. Ducking down as the Korean zombie charged forward, Yair threw an upward elbow from an incredibly awkward angle, timing it perfectly to spark his opponent unconscious. The zombie's chin had finally been cracked, and with just one second on the clock, Yair had earned the victory and the record for the latest knockout victory in UFC history. Leave the judges out of it. 
Late finishes don't have to be last-ditch efforts. Born out of desperation, Demetrius Johnson did it just because he could. Mighty Mouse's flair for the dramatic had become increasingly prominent as his reign over the flyweight division went deeper. But one of his wildest victories is often overshadowed by his finishes of Ray Borg, Joseph Benavidez, and Henry Cejudo. The event was UFC 186, and his opponent, the great Kyoji Horiguchi. As the fight wore on, DJ's dominance grew, and by the time the fifth round came, the bout's competitiveness had more more or less worn off. So when Johnson transitioned to an armbar in the final five seconds, Horiguchi was just as surprised as the rest of us, and before he knew it, he was tapping. What's crazy here is the tap came at 4 minutes and 59 seconds of the fifth round. Not only will this record be near impossible to replicate, but it can only be matched, never beaten. The Heavyweight Veteran Heavyweights in the UFC don't have a long shelf life. These big boys just hit harder than they do in the lighter divisions. And if you're lucky, getting a run of 15 or 20 fights in the UFC is more than impressive. But then there's Andre Arlovsky. Debuting in the UFC in the year 2000, Arlovsky would go on to have one of the oddest career trajectories we've ever seen. He won UFC gold in 2005, before seemingly hitting a wall between 2009 and 2011. His career was pretty much over, or so we thought. Out of nowhere, he rebounded with a a crazy resurgence, blasting through some huge names for a 10-in-1 record before losing five straight fights about five years ago. Nowadays, he's still beating down these young contenders at the grand old age of 43, going 5-1 and one in his last six. That's some astonishing longevity for a heavyweight, and his UFC career 37 appearances in the division is a testament to his toughness and a record that will likely never be equaled. Old but gold. Like fine wines, some fighters get better with age. And when it comes to Randy Couture, he is vintage in every sense of the word. While some fighters start their MMA careers early, often lacing up gloves for their first pro outing at around 18 or 19, Couture entered the sport at an age that some fighters consider retiring. After a glittering run as a Greco-Roman wrestler, the 34-year-old made his MMA debut at UFC 13, and he was an instant hit. Five separate UFC title captures were more than enough to earn him his own special place in the record books, but that fifth and final belt was something truly extraordinary. Facing the heavily favored Tim Sylvia, a massive man whose knockout power is still heralded to this day, Randy shocked the world by scoring an early knockdown and dominating the rest of the fight. But here's the kicker. He was 40 three years old. And that's not all. After defending his title against Gabriel Gonzaga, when he made the walk to the cage to take on Brock Lesnar, despite the defeat he suffered, Couture entered the octagon that day as the oldest champion in UFC history at 45.